the top 10 streaming films for 2021 have been revealed and this is really interesting when you take a look at it because there's definitely some unexpected things that show up on here and some honestly quite shocking and surprising things that definitely did not go the way some narratives spun them to go So just so people are aware, this was measured by Samba TV, who tracks the data, what apps people are using, and so forth. So it's not the most accurate, but it does paint an interesting picture for what they're reporting. So going down at number 10, we got The Kissing Booth, never heard of it. At 9, we got Dune. Okay, that makes sense. It was on HBO Max. Number 8 is interesting because that's where Zack Snyder's Justice League lands. Number seven, we got The Suicide Squad, which this tracks according to everything we've heard that it was higher and more in demand than Dune and Zack Snyder's Justice League. At number six, we got Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings. We're going to come back to this one. Number five, Raya and The Last Dragon, uh, my number two favorite film of the year. Absolutely loved it. Number four, we got Luca. Number three, I've never heard of this, so I'm not even going to talk about it. Number two, we got Cruella. Okay, yeah, that was some not expected. And number one, Black Widow. So talk about um, talk about unexpected here in terms of what we're seeing in the top 10. Now, most of you, I think, know why I'm saying unexpected, because let's talk about the reality of the streaming situation here. So the HBO things, which I'll just scroll through the whole thing again. You can see where they are. Uh, they were obviously available with the included subscription. So whether people jumped on for the dollar deal or $7 deal or the typical standard price, this was included, so you didn't have to pay extra. And I bring that up because once you realize what I'm talking about here, this is the interesting picture. Shang-Chi still number six, and that's the fact that it took three months to get to the streaming platform, and it was viewed so much. But number one, Black Widow. That had a $30 premium. Remember, $30 premium that made them $80 million in its opening weekend on just Disney+. Plus. This accounts for that and, of course, it going to streaming about a month and a half after, I believe. And this really points to the power of the brand, I would say. Also, Raya the Last Dragon, that's the same thing. You have to pay for that. I mean, it's a very interesting picture. Now, I've already seen... I've seen the posts, I'm just going to talk about them briefly. This is all a conspiracy. The Snyder Cut clearly was number one. Most people watch that. I mean, look at the social media impressions. It was the most talked about thing. We've talked about this, guys. Bots, it doesn't matter. If you're sitting at home watching the film on repeat, it doesn't matter. They already know you watched it. And they can analyze that data and go, oh, this household just has it on repeat, so that's skewing the number. Again, it doesn't matter. They know how to track this. I mean, it's a system that they have built in place to report to shareholders and investors. So this to me is as accurate as you're going to get without the studios confirming anything. And the fact that WB alone confirmed that the Snyder Cut was not their biggest thing, that should be all the evidence you need. Interesting omission here, though. Where's Mortal Kombat? 